Hello guys, it's Shitkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. As for today's video, we have kind of the review of the new Adrenaline Fluid Motion Preview Drivers. And I must tell you right away that I am impressed. You're teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> And I am indeed impressed because it is not even two weeks after the, the release of the Fluid Motion Drivers for the RX 6000 series, so the Fluid Motion Drivers were previously for the 7000 series only, people complained, so AMD actually unlocked the AFMF Fluid Motion frames for the 6000 series, basically RDNA 2 cards. And it is. And it is not only two weeks after that, that AMD is already adding new things to these drivers. So we're talking about the version 4 of the Fluid Motion drivers and they already improved the quality of the frame generation. So let's go right into that, but before, let's see the quality of today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. And before anything, just remember that these drivers are preview drivers, which are basically beta drivers that AMD released to the people in order for them to test their newer technology, since people were asking a lot for the fluid motion inside the drivers. So basically frame generation inside the drivers for almost any DX11 slash DX12 title. People were asking a lot, so they released the preview drivers, but once again, these drivers are beta drivers. So you can expect some issues, let's say with black screens, you can expect some issues with blue screens, you can expect some crashes, you can expect some stutters, things like these are expected. And that doesn't mean that it will happen because the drivers will most likely be butter smooth for you as well, but it may happen. And of course, before installing these drivers, don't forget to do a clean installation with the AMD Cleanup Utility Tool or using DDU Display Driver Installer. If you don't know how to do it, watch this video that I made some months ago. And do not confuse them with the Adrenaline ones. I released yesterday a video reviewing the 23.10.1 drivers and people were actually asking me if those drivers included the fluid motion frames and they don't because the fluid motion frames are only for the beta drivers, okay, for the preview drivers. They are not yet on the Adrenaline drivers, as AMD actually said that they will be on the Adrenaline drivers only in the quarter one of 2024, meaning that till then the, the fluid motion frames will have a lot, a lot to improve. Now as for the changes in the release notes. So we have new feature highlights with lots of things that we had before, what to know part is a thing that we already had before, but you can read it if you didn't before. And now we have things new on October 13th. We have had an initial support for HDR to expand the AFMF gaming experience. So HDR is now available, something that was not before. So in order for you to use the, um, the fluid motion frames before, you actually had to disable HDR and disable VSync, I believe. And now uh, they are adding initial support for HDR, meaning that things are going well. Like I told you before, even only after two weeks or bef not even two weeks uh, after the release of the 6000 series for the fluid motion frames or fluid motion frames for the 6000 series. So, yeah, that's great, actually. After monitoring user experience feedback, AFMF can now be globally enabled on all the X11 and the X12 titles. Users may use the per app settings to individually disable or enable AFMF. Basically, the per app settings were already enabled for all games, so you could use the fluid motion frames already in all of the X11 and 12 games, but you didn't have the global switch for fluid motion frames with all the X11 and 12 games, and that's basically what they added only. And now the most important one for me, improvements to frame pacing have been made, resulting in an overall smoother gameplay experience and improved image quality. And I really wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison uh, versus the previous drivers, but I suddenly couldn't because in terms of FPS numbers and in terms of real um, problems that happen with the, frame, with the fluid motion frames, you can only record them properly when using a video capture card. And I even got a card that I'm looking at it right now, but it is a piece of garbage card and it actually had a very, very bad image quality. Uh, so I'll just leave it there uh, for some emergencies in some cases, I don't really know, but it will be there. It was a cheap one, by the way. So the best I can do is actually show you some gameplays I recorded uh, with my video camera, and I can tell you right away that it is much, 
much better than before. They improved the frame pacing, and in terms of uh, in terms of artifacts, for example, movement artifacts, we still have them. Definitely, we still have movement artifacts, but it is much much better than it was before. For example, in some scenarios when I was running fluid motion frames and I had a crash here and there, the fluid motion frames would stop working properly due to poor frame pacing and uh, movement artifacts would get worse and worse as time passed by. And with this new update, it is just smooth. The frame pacing is just almost perfect and it works much better than before. Like I told you, way less movement artifacts. It is much smoother than before. Uh, I mean, it's a definitely, definitely an improved experience over the previous drivers. And on top of HDR and better fluid motion frames, we also have more games supported on the Radiant Anti-Lag Plus. Now we have Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries, Deep Rock Galactic, Warhammer 4000 Dark Tide, Sniper Elite 5, Returnal, Remnant 2, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Spider-Man Remastered, PUBG Battlegrounds, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, Hogwarts Legacy, Resident Evil 4, and the last one is actually for more info on Anti-Lag Plus, click here. And by the way, don't use Raiden Anti-Lag Plus on games that actually have uh, the anti-cheat the anti system. If you're playing online competitively, do not use the Raiden Anti-Lag Plus because um, Valve has actually been banning people for using the Radiant Anti-Lag Plus, although it is obviously not a cheat. But on the other hand, many years ago, I never used a single cheat in my account, never used a single one, never used Radiant Anti-Lag, never used anything, and Valve also banned me on my previous account out of the blue. But anyway, I advise you to not use Radiant Anti-Lag Plus, at least until AMD and Valve has fixed the issue, have fixed the issue. As for the fixed issues, I do believe that we have some that weren't presented on the version 3 of these drivers, uh, mostly the first one, which is improvements to the overall smoothness and image quality when AF-MF is enabled for games such as Starfield. And I believe the second one as well, which is some metrics such as frame time may show inconsistent results when AF-MF is enabled. And also take in consideration that once again, I did not show you the side-by-side -side comparisons uh, with AF-MF on and off, because as I told you before, you need, you need a video card to properly record it, because using AMD Relieve, OBS and so on, you can't record the AMD, uh, the AMD software overlay with those settings. You can't record the AMD software overlay with the AMD um, software recording, not with OBS, not with, a, at least with the software that I tested. And MS Afterburner still can't read the fluid motion frames injected outside of the game engine. Basically, you can see the, the base frames that you're having, but you can't see the frames, the overall frames that you're having with the frame injection, with the AFMF. Still, as you see right now, I'm showing you with uh, with the recordings from my video camera, and you can see the frames on MS Afterburner, the frames that we have when playing those games, such as Starfield, Cyberpunk 2077, and so on. While on the left side, you have the AMD software overlay, where you can see the actual amount of frames that are being presented on the monitor, which in this case are roughly the double that you're seeing with MS Afterburner, because that's how it works. And well, this is just me putting you on par with the most recent news on the on the AMD Fluid Motion drivers. You'll have link in the description as well for download the, to download these drivers and link in the pinned comment as well. And yeah, that's basically all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching once again. And I, I actually wanted to make more videos, more videos, sorry about this, more videos non-related, non-related, let's say, to the, to the AMD drivers. But recently we have had so many so many updates, so many updates recently that I simply don't have the time to do everything. Uh, I currently have here the, the RX 7800 XT that AMD actually sent and they sent it some days ago, but I actually had so much work um, I still have so many, so many videos waiting to be done. For example, the how to overclock and undervolt the RX 6750 XT, the RX 7700 XT, and now I will test the 7800 XT as well. I also have the 4060 Ti that um, that MSI sent some time ago and I didn't even test it yet because once again I have lots of work with the drivers and so on and well I'm just one I can't do everything I try sorry I try but I can't do everything uh, at least at one at the same time so I need to wait I need to do things step by step but at least you know that these videos will come so don't worry Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, leave your comment in the comment section and let me know. Let me and us, the community, know what's your experience with these drivers. And as always, 
Thank you very much for watching once again and see you in the next video and most likely in the comment section. Cheers, guys. Cheers.